morning internet trucker Rudy here today is uh, August 24th it's going to be August 31st when you guys watch it so it's going to be the end of the month but uh, today is actually uh, a bit of a sad day for me yesterday about 8 o'clock at night I got a phone call that my uh, grandpa has passed away yesterday he had passed away about an hour ago when I got the phone call and uh, you know what's sad is as a truck driver for me at least uh, I'm out here on the road and uh, the thing is uh, I was born in Bolivia and that's where my grandpa is and so that's where he has passed away so and uh, I, I'm no rich you know no rich man so uh, I can't I can't afford to go over there to uh, to uh, his funeral you know but uh, at least if I was home you know I could uh, maybe do something with the bank or something you know try and get over there but I got a job and uh, gotta try and make money you know and uh, I can't really make it home you know I, I have to go to Alberta with this load I can't can't just turn around and go back you know but uh, that's that's life as a trucker you can't uh, you can't always do what you want and uh, you can't be home whenever you feel like it or whenever you want, you know, uh, you just gotta keep on going, you know, so, but anyways, uh, uh, other than that, it's nice and sunny out here today, I uh, talked to the wife and it's been raining for the last day or, or at least all day yesterday and this morning she said it rained so hard that the streets were all covered in the water, so hopefully that won't get too bad either. Anyways, uh, I'll go down here to Fargo probably and fuel up, take a shower, have some breakfast. And we'll see. I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it across the border today. I could if I really wanted to, but uh, I'm going to be crossing the uh, North Portal uh, uh, into Saskatchewan, and uh, we'll see how far I get today. I continue 211 miles on 994 West don't really have to get too far you know the slow only got to be there by Wednesday but uh, I want to be there by Monday night so that way I can get me another load and keep on going you know because then on, uh, on Tuesday I can start with my rollover hours you know and uh, that way I have hours again and uh, I can keep going you know but anyways uh, we'll see what our day brings and hopefully Hopefully it's going to be a good day though, even though my dad, my grandpa has passed away, you know, but uh, anyways, I'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Alright, just finished uh, having uh, something to eat up here and took a shower and uh, just uh, finished fueling up, so I figure I'd show you guys a little bit on how much it cost me. It cost me $629 and I fueled up for... Uh, 152 gallons so we got uh, 3949 is what the uh, what the deals diesel cost up here today and I just wanted to show you guys this app that I always use to uh, track my fuel mileage and here you can see I did uh, 7.27 US miles per gallon and my average has been 6.41 and uh, that is per year and uh, that's just a really really nice app that uh, that I like to keep just uh, keep track of how much fuel I use you know uh, I want to know how good my fuel fuel mileage is on this truck you know and uh, the app is called road trip and it looks like that the red one there in the middle so you can go check that app out uh, I don't promote anything here but uh, I just you know, figured uh, a lot of truckers would be interested in knowing what kind of app that would be, so I figured I'd share that with you. But anyways, uh, also a lot of Canadian truckers are uh, always interested in getting Verizon cell phones and stuff like that. And so I figured I'd share with you that uh, right across here from the Petro at the uh, 
Fargo place here, uh, Fargo, North Dakota. Right across there, uh, you'll see the McDonald's, and right behind the McDonald's, that's where uh, a Verizon dealer is there. And that's uh, not a third party Verizon dealer, it's an official Verizon dealer up there. So, for those Canadians that always want to get the uh, Verizon uh, phone, they can go there and get themselves set up, you know. But, anyways, uh, I'll get rolling here and uh, We'll see what the rest of the day brings. All right, just got down to uh, Minot, North Dakota. Gonna be uh, spending the night up here. But uh, anyways, uh, I got about 516 miles to go up to uh, Madison Hat, uh, Alberta. And I should easily be able to do that tomorrow. So we'll do that tomorrow. And then we'll uh, see what kind of reload we get from up there. But something uh, really cool that I just thought of was on uh, June 22nd I believe it I met up with uh, Josh trucker Josh uh, on this uh, road up here and uh, we actually did an interview uh, up there by the uh, North of portal uh, duty free shop up there I met up with him up there so uh, uh, yeah if you like to see that video I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description where you can find that and uh, yeah check it out and uh, hopefully you like my videos as well and hopefully you'll uh, subscribe to my channel and appreciate that very much and uh, also hit the like button and share it if you would like it and uh, thanks for watching.